Good morning, afternoon, good evening, good night, good everything. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Indie Bunker, where I get lost for a long time. This opening screen may look familiar to anyone who's actually watching, or has been watching for the past few streams. Last uh, Indie Bunker, in fact, I started with this exact same game. Except, I ran into a rare bug, and got completely screwed over, and couldn't do anything because i couldn't use the in-game journal so i went and i installed the steam version instead which is now in the the link the link section for the games i'm playing today and it worked so we are going to play this again and i'm going to do it right because i don't want to give this uh i don't want to give this game the short end of the stick i want to see it play it properly rather than just making people think it's broken because it is not and I will say now, before I even start, that if you do like what you see in the prologue here, there is uh, chapter one is up on Steam for sale for, I think it was five ninety nine or something like that. I mean, it's going to be different in different regions anyway, So, but it's not particularly expensive. So if we like what we see, you know where to go to get more of it. Okay. Uh, after... 13 origin prologue we also have uh where we have obusite which i think is kind of a, a stealthy horror game uh it's it's mainly horror but from what i read on the page it also includes a lot of hiding and probably not having weapons which is exactly the kind of horror that i'm bad at but it's also the scariest kind of horror so we'll see how that is after that, we have another one called Atuel, which is going to be, hopefully, going to be a very chill experience. Because it's a, a surrealist uh, take on a real-life location, the Atuel River, in... Uh, damn it. I can't remember where. Maybe the game will tell us, so that my bad memory won't end up impacting us too much. And the final nail in today's coffin will be a game that is simply called zeppelin escape room which is designed for one to four people so i don't know if that means that i'm gonna get screwed because i'm playing it solo but it says play alone or play with four three friends so hopefully the fact that it says or means that it is actually possible to complete with one person and i won't end up getting screwed because it's just me we'll find out it looks fun either way <coughs> so Let's get to it, shall we? New game. We'll watch this opening for the, I don't know, fifth time now, I think? Who is it? And it's loud once again. Oh, I was dreaming. He was dreaming. Beep, beep, beep. For some reason, the dials make a beeping noise like we're pressing a button. I've had enough of this shit. And I still don't know what shit he's had enough of. Uh huh. There's no point in looking out the window, you fool. You can't see out there. It's black. <clears throat> Oh no! What? What gives? What gives? I'm not in the mood for silly jokes. Sorry, Doc. It was already time for me to take things into my own hands. You need to learn that what goes around comes around. Michael? Is everything okay? Nothing's okay. Now, let's just calm down and open the door so we can talk. No more chit chat and meaningless treatments. I have the questions now. Unless you answer them all, this door stays locked. I left you something in your drawer. You will start to learn once you start to read. Now, let's be sensible, okay? No. Michael? No. You there? No. Yeah, fuck. What are you gonna do now? You gotta get out of the room. If you're such a smart doctor, I don't know why the fuck it doesn't occur to you to just kick the damn door in. Or out, or whichever way. 
worked out. No, no, I see. Now, immediately we have a difference here, which is that we actually get given our commands. So that implies that whatever was broken before is no longer broken. And more to the point, that our... Ooh, I could do with turning... The volume down significantly and the sensitive up a little bit. Sensitivity up a little bit. Uh, uh, maybe a little more. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now, press J to open the journal, and wouldn't you know it, we can actually flip the pages. Hello, Doc. Before getting into all this confusion, I want to point out that I didn't start it. You started it when you locked me between these damn walls, for your own interest. Action and reaction. Everything is that simple. You can think of your study room, or even your entire facility, as my playground. If you are so eager to deal with secrets and questions, here is your choice. Chance. 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 Together... We will both solve these secrets and reveal the details that bother me. Isn't that what you've always wanted? The first thing I'm going to deal I'm going to deal is those terrible files. Even if we patients here do not consent, even if we object, you extract whatever is in our minds and keep them in those files. Believe me, it is not fair. There are exact reasons for keeping some secrets. You will understand this in time. I made a few edits to your files. I would suggest you have a look at. Okay, so here's what we were missing before. B4, Y7, B8. Alright. So, look at the files. And he means these files. Blue 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Y7 is yellow 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And B, whatever it said. Did it say B some? B3? B1, 2, 3. Wrong one? Okay. I need to look again. B8. What, what do you mean B8? There aren't eight blues on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still comes back to that blue one. What's with the happy and the sad face? It says B underscore equals eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, okay. What's inside? We got the picture. E to open collection. And this picture says X322. Uh, uh -huh. Are you able to follow, Doc? I don't expect anything less from you. Don't let me down. After all, you called yourself the sun that will shed light on me. Secrets cannot be revealed unless the light shines. No. Unless the right light shines. What do you think about it? Right, well, we already know how to do this because I accidentally stumbled upon these, upon these previously. There was, was there anything else in here or was it just a picture? Nothing. Okay. Well, we know which light to shine. It's even so kindly illuminating itself for us. Yes. Okay, I know you don't like being locked in there, but why the sad face? Well, why the sad face is a good question. Uh, X equals 28, so I'm guessing it's 28322, whatever it is. Which again, I'd figured out the previous day, but what sad face is he talking about? Why the sad face? Do you think I might have turned it down a little too much? 
There we go. A lot less silence now. Why the sad face? I remember it actually hinting to me in the, when I opened the journal and closed it the previous time. Even though I couldn't use the journal properly. Why the sad face? Still don't know what the sad face actually refers to, even after having solved the first issue. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Encyclopedia of Psychology. What sad face, Michael? What sad face? There are multiple sad faces. This is also a sad face. A sad face. I don't think it's anything to do with that. Where does one use the code two eight three two two? See, I wondered if it was to do with the clock face. But it doesn't look particularly sad. It just looks like it's 10.15. X equals 28. 2.8322. I'm almost certain of that. Can't be to do with this, can it? Now let me make that a timeout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I'm pretty sure that's actually something to do with Morse code because they have one long and one short, so whatever that is, that's not that. What sad face, what sad face, what sad face, what sad, what sad, hey, that shouldn't be, this is something I often, a problem I often run into, because you have to put the light source below the actual light, so the light ends up shadowing itself. Unfortunate fact of game design, but these ones also shadow themselves, yeah they do. Let's not talk too much about these things. You have arrived. Welcome. You're on screen today. I managed to figure out how you do the chat thingy. Uh, I'm looking for a sad face. It's uh, that's what my current jour journal is saying. Okay, I know you don't like being locked in there, but why the sad face in quotes? Which is making me think like, what sad face? <laughs> I'm looking around and I cannot find a sad face with which to interact. brain honestly it's going very similarly to how it did when i didn't have a working journal <laughs> it's just this time it's only because i'm stupid and not because that it's broken 
Because that it's... Yep. Yeah. That's English. That's good English. Mm -hmm. Sad face. Sad face. Encyclopedia of Sad Art. It's a guide to all of these different psychological journals. And I bet none of them would hold up in the modern day. So many locked things and no sad face in, in sight. I still keep thinking maybe it's the clock face, but the clock face, it, it can't be the clock face. It does terribly bother me that the two clocks in the room are five minutes apart, though. And that they're both frozen. Two clocks in the room, five minutes apart, both broken. What do we qualify as the sad face? I mean, I wonder if he actually meant... If he actually meant this sad face. But if he meant that sad face, I don't actually understand what that means, aside from that the covered door on the left would be the sad face and the covered door on the right would be the happy face. And these are all just drugs. I can't open this one. Oh, I can open this one. So we have a key. Wow. So uh, it was actually, that was the sad face and I'm just stupid. Okay, what's our journal say now that I've got the sad face? Write down each keyword you find. I can't leave the room, not yet. Write down each keyword you find on these pages and the biggest advice... Uh, uh, wait, write down each keyword you find on these pages is the biggest advice I can give you without them. Now, without them, it's impossible to answer my last question. Shouldn't we stick to the traditions? Each keyword? Well, I found an actual key. Can I use it? Not there. Can I use it here? No. Or, I have a key. Well, let me look at the key. What's the key for? I mean, the sad face would be me if being locked in a room like this. What is the key for if it's not for the door? Is there any way I can, like... Desk drawer key, okay. The UI is a bit small on this, I must say. Desk drawer. This one? Aha! Oh, 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 oh. 28322. Three, two, two. Yeah, I got warming up tutorial. Old heritage. Okay, old heritage, I guess, is the keyword that he wants me to write. Old heritage. And now we're on to the next page. It's too early to celebrate yet. It's, uh, yet it's a great start, I admit. How about going a little further now? Are you ready for the next step? My first request from you is quite simple. There is a splintered photo in your room. You need it to get to the second answer. You will understand once, you've com once you complete it. How about a little story as you search for the pieces? It also helps with what the photo in the room is about. There were six hangmen in a small neighbourhood with narrow streets. Whoever, whoever their mission was... I'm going to assume that means that's supposed to say whatever. Oh no, whoever their mission was, they would race to find... Okay, I mean, I get it. Whoever their mission was, they would race to find them. Hang them and claim the prize. They couldn't be successful, even after days and weeks. They paced those streets, followed by their paths as they shared their roots. No, as they shared. Their roots, which started in front of the door of the huge inn, were divided into different routes every day and ended in front of the same door at the end of the day. 
Here is their route. Northwest, south, northeast, east, west, southeast. They could not find the person they were dying to hang. They would go back to where they started, then continue to search relentlessly until the hunt becomes the hu hunted hunter and hu hunts each hangman. Neat, isn't it? It'd be neater if your wording was slightly less weird. But I think I get it. It means that I have to go to the doors and then go northwest, south, northeast, east, west, southeast. No, northwest. Do I have to... I don't know if it means that I should go to, like, corners, or if I'm supposed to find pieces in the northwest, southeast, and whatnot. This would be the northwest corner. Let me look at this again. Hangman, small neighborhood, blah, blah, blah. Their routes, which started in front of the door of the huge inn, were divided into different routes every day, and ended in front of the same door at the end of the day. Well, I'm presuming that right here, or around here, would be northwest. Ooh, would it mean these? No. Northwest could also mean... Well, no, this is just plain west, isn't it? Um... I'm not quite sure if it wants me to check one place at a time or just follow like to different corners and then I'll end in the right place as it were. Like northwest south takes me to the bottom corner and then northeast would take me over there. Or would it take me there? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just confusing myself even more. If they'd end up back in the same place, then you'd be like, you'd get north, east, then you'd go east, then you'd go west, and then you'd go southeast and end up back at the door. Um... Now, this one's definitely the confusing one. Psychology elements, methods, history. It says there's a splintered picture in the room. That's what it said, right? Ready for the next step. First request from the splintered photo. I need it to get to the second answer. So I'm looking, I presume, for pieces of a torn photo. And that would imply that I'm looking for them in those particular positions. But I don't see anything. Is it perhaps a photo that should be in this? I don't know. I mean, it does mean starting at that door, right? Or maybe it doesn't mean starting at that door. And if it means starting at my desk instead of the door, that changes everything. Are those few? No, they're weights. Little weights for the scales. Am 
Oh, that was pointless. Um, I'm starting to think I should just fucking look around. <laughs> Not try to understand the riddle. That's not exactly getting me anywhere either, though. Hmm. Hmm. I am not entirely sure. I am entirely sure of one thing, though. You guys were a mile away. Uh... It's important for you to be close by so you can hear me saying uh and things like that. <clears throat> Where's literally any piece of this splinter photo? If it's if it's so splintered then shouldn't I at least be able to find one piece just by looking around aimlessly? Yeah, my mic was, was far away. I usually have it, like, right next to my face on the left-hand side here. Just a little to the left, so I don't go blowing into it. I do not. I, I really don't get it. I really don't get it. I mean, I thought I, I understood the basic concept of starting at the door and then going northwest and whatever, but you just end up back at the door, and it's not showing, like, going to the northwest corner of the room doesn't get me a piece of a photo. And if I go northwest from the door, then theoretically I would end up at this desk, and I don't see a piece of a photo here either. If they could not find the person they were dying to hang, they would go back to where they started. I don't get it. Where is this splintered photo and why does it say it's splintered? Oh. What do they mean by splintered? More to the point. What what I think they mean by splintered doesn't appear to be what they mean by splintered. Because it should be fairly obvious if there's pieces of a photo laying around. Ah. Ah. What does any of this mean? It's all just clutter really there's no there's no photographs or anything anywhere my original concept of what this particular puzzle would mean doesn't seem to be right at all troubling troubling indeed High quality photos, though. Pictures, even. 
in there? Nothing. No, oh, I've already seen that. Boy, I wish there was a hint button or something. This was comparing itself to the room in the first place. The room does actually have a hint button. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm lost. Is it time for me to reread the puzzle all over again and see if I can figure it out? I think it is. Okay, too early to celebrate, yet it's a great start. I admit, how about going a little further now? Are you ready for the next step? My first request from you is quite simple. There's a splintered photo in your room. You need it to get the second answer. You will understand once you complete it. Once you complete it. Implying that there are multiple parts. How about a little story as you search for the pieces? It also helps with what the photo in the room is about. There were six hangmen in a small neighborhood with narrow streets. Whoever their mission was, they would race to find them. They couldn't be successful even after days or weeks. They paced the streets. Followed their paths as much as they shared their roots. No. They paced those streets, followed their paths as they shared. Their roots, which started in front of the door of the huge inn, were divided into different roots every day and ended in front of the same door at the end of the day. Well, that just kind of implies, yeah, this really implies that, like, you've got three different routes in the direction, like, from the door. Like, if you're starting at the door. <laughs> what about if I'm staring at the door? How would that, how would that compare, I wonder? Yes, I believe I, I have suddenly grasped the situation. Northwest. South. Northeast. East. West and then southeast. Okay, and what is our photograph? It won't actually show me. Oh, it's just the, it's literally the first part of the photograph. Okay. It wouldn't be bad to continue the story with a riddle, wouldn't it? I shouldn't stop while I have pace. Which creature has one voice and yet becomes four-footed at sunrise, two-footed when the sun is high, and three-footed at sunset? A little tip for you. I believe that this is the oldest riddle ever asked. I always had a thing for classics. Which creature has one voice and yet becomes four-footed at sunrise, two-footed when sun is high, and three-footed at sunset? What? <laughs> if it's the oldest riddle that's ever been asked, I've never heard it before. Four... Say three at sunset. Oh, 
I, I don't know. Four, two, and then three. Preacher? Really? I've never heard it. If it's an old riddle, I've, I've just never heard it. Preacher. Oh. I can move the, the, the pictures now. Yeah, to be honest, if it's written in words, then it's not the first riddle ever posed. <laughs> if it's written in English words, I mean. Now I just have to keep thinking about it because I don't want to ask chat. <sighs> One voice. Four legs at sunrise. Two, what was it? Two, two footed, sorry. Four footed at sunrise. Two footed when the sun is high and three footed at, the sun, at sunset. Every time I see anything to do with time, I always think of clocks, but I'm certain it's not clocks. <laughs> Is he actually talking about a creature? Like, just so we're clear, right? Because I don't know if I should be taking that at face value. When he says which creature, does he actually mean a creature or is it like anything like referring to an inanimate object? Okay, well, that's fair enough. That means that I'm probably looking for a, a picture of something specific, doesn't it? I mean, assuming that it's not something to do with all of these pictures here. What is that under the table? It's just like an anti-sag. Oh, well, in that case, it probably just means that it's a human being, because when you're a baby, you walk on all fours. When you're in the middle of life, you're standing on two, and when you're old, you use a walking stick. But if we're talking about humans, well, fuck if I know what human it specifically wants to tell me about. Oh, so I got it right. Well, that doesn't exactly help me, though. <laughs> Unless, like, I was, is there something I'm supposed to do with... Why does it let me pull this out? But I can't... Oh, I could can spin it around. Shit. It was right there all along. <laughs> it was quite literally human. <laughs> okay. 
Wait, that's that was that one. Okay. Every story I tell, every riddle I ask, I tell you so you can get to know one exact person. Understanding neither yourself nor me will benefit you. Even our sessions will be more meaningful when you get to know him. In one of those sessions, you told me that the mind is full of endless corridors and labyrinths. I cannot talk about endless corridors in a tiny room, but it would be correct to say that you are in a labyrinth. Everyone wonders about the, se the exit of the labyrinth, but what if we really need, what if what, but what we really need is the beginning of it. Is it J, J14? I found my beginning years ago in the notes of a man named Yosef on the path he followed. I am saying to make it clear I am not your beginning. You will be faced with a great choice and I will choose my choice accordingly. Uh, that's a, this is a hint. The J, J14 is a hint. Of so, well, it's something. Found my beginning years ago. Notes of a man named Yusuf on the path he followed. I am saying to make it clear I am not your beginning. Meh. I'm just going to look at the back of all the pictures because I don't know what you're talking about. Look at these fellows wearing their fezes. I thought he was talking about something like a, that I need to find my beginning in a book or something like that. Hang on. What is the relevance of Yusuf and what is the relevance of J J14? Because... Can I do anything with these weights yet? No, but I will be able to eventually. I am certain of that. This one's got me a little more sort of confused of even the very basis of it. Oh, whoops. Every story I tell, every riddle I ask, I tell you so you can get to know one exact person. Uh, it's not me and it's not him, so it's someone else. Not that I've spotted, but that doesn't mean there isn't. That means I need to pay extra close attention and look. Unless there, it's, it's also possible that there's a calendar that I didn't realize was a calendar. If you're thinking maybe that the J14 could be related to a date. What's that? I'll just notebook. Yeah, I've I've not spotted any calendars so far, but that like I said that doesn't mean there isn't one. Bye. Can get a look. Most of the stuff on the shelves are actually just the same few books used as clutter. We've got some scales. I feel like the him naming Yusuf had some sort of relevance. But I don't know, there's a bunch of letters and books down here. This is honestly taking longer than I expected it to. <laughs> like 
psychology. Uh, let me look at this one. Oh, I can't. I can't get any closer. No, I don't think that's any of any relevance. Although, wow, two thousand one hundred eighty-five dollars for for this house. Those were the days, huh? Except they weren't the days, because back then, two thousand one hundred eighty-five dollars just was worth a hell of a lot more. I can't pick that one up or turn that one around anymore. Hmm. I am confused. I am confused. I feel, I just, I feel like this doesn't mean what it seems like it means. Our sessions will be more than this elaborate for what we will need at the beginning of it. Oh, I already have the full fucking picture, for God's sake. It said splintered, so I thought I was still looking for more parts. Ah, no. No. Please look the right way so I can figure out what J14 is. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm just gonna... No! No reset, damn you! Okay, good enough. J14. Oh shit, no. So J14. What's with the uh let's see left up left up left down left Oh what are the numbers for though? Oh lord. I'm guessing J14 means the beginning, which would be 3, 2, 1. No, oh, wait, hang on. I did that wrong. 3, 2, 1, 2. Two, three, three, three. But I have no idea what that means. <laughs> it ends me up in I ten, but I actually don't like. I don't. I don't. Is there somewhere that I have arrows? I don't think so. I have this, but I'm I, like it's it shouldn't be that. I don't think there's anything in here anywhere in here. Well, wait. You don't suppose it could? Let me let me see. This is how many wide? Sixteen wide. And the hat stand is the very corner. If that's 16 wide, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, how wide, how, or what was the depth of this? 10, 11, 12. Okay, it might be 12, yeah. So, yes, okay, so 12 by 16. And the hat stand, god damn it, hat stand is this corner, this corner. No. 
the hat stand is this corner. Wait, that would mean this is reverse. That doesn't make sense. There's not a hat stand in it in the other corner as well, is there? No, it's definitely this corner. Okay, let's just try. Oh, no, that's that is dark. I need to look in a different direction. Ah, keep pressing J instead of C. So, left three. No, wait, what is J14 then? Does the hat stand just to give me an idea of where I should be, I wonder? Because then there'd be one, two, three would be J14. Oh no, two. Shit, it should have been two. Two. So, left three on the... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> J14. One, two, three. One, two. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I four. And I four would be. If this is actually reversed, like I think, then I four would be. There. It's either like just about here. Or it's on the opposite side of the room. Or I've just got this all completely wrong. I don't know. I really thought it was about the squares on the floor. But that doesn't seem to be the case. I'm not even sure that the hat stand was any relevance anymore. Maybe if I don't start at J14. One, two, three. Uh oh. One, two, three. One, two. One. Uh, 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 one. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That will put me a K six. But I still don't know where that. No, I'm just. I've lost it. I have no idea. I have no fucking idea. Is whoever's in chat, are any of you gleaning more information than I am? Because I sure as shit don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. Two, three, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve. It is twelve wide. 12, 13, 14, 15, so it is 12 wide and 16 deep. But I don't know. So 
for one thing, I don't know which corner the hat is referring to because I thought it was the hat stand, but that is the opposite corner from what it can possibly be. This would have to be flipped over. And that would mean that I... Was it I4? Shit, I forgot. Hang on, let me count that again. J14. One, two, three. One, two, one. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, I4. That, that would mean I4 would have to be... Oh, hang on. Let me count it. I4 would have to be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. So like, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's nothing here. I'm definitely doing this wrong. <laughs> and it's not on this side either. And it's not on this side either. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, honestly. I just don't understand anymore. Maybe if I walk it directly. But if it's flipped, then, like, if it's mirrored, then would that be right three up to right one? Up two, right three, down three. And then right three. Which would take me to here. Just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I believe my my ideas are completely bust and whatever I'm supposed to be doing is not what I think I'm supposed to be doing. My brain is fried. I've spent an hour on this first game and I don't know what is happening anymore. However, I do think this is fun, and if I were just, if I were playing just me by myself, I'd just smash my head against this until I figured it out. But since I'm on stream, I'm going to stop it here, and I'm going to encourage anyone watching to try and figure this out for yourself. Because you're probably smarter than I am, to be honest. <laughs> because I, I really don't know what the hell is supposed to be happening right now. So... That's 13 Origin Prologue, and it actually works from Steam. So if you choose to try the original uh, one that I tried the other day, and it works for you, that's great. But if not, do download it from Steam, because it will probably work for you from Steam. Uh, and I wish you better luck than I, or at least that you have more time on your hands. Now, the next thing we're going to be playing is Obusite. Which is, promises to be creepy. Well, whoa, that's loud. It promises to be creepy in the way that it's really freaking loud, too. Now, let's go to about here. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wow. Oh, no, I thought we were just diving right into it, but we're not. There's... What the hell? That's me. Oh, okay. I thought this was first person, but it's not. Why was I inside this crate? 
This is some little nightmare shit. Okay, I can get behind that. Oh, that's wild. Oh, this is very little nightmares. Ooh, what's that? Push. Or maybe... No, no, that's climb. What, what button to... gotta be a button for pushing. What is the button for pushing? Hello? Oh, this music is weird. Yeah, let me check the controls. Oh, well, it doesn't help that... Move ZQSD. ZQSD? What? Hang on a sec. I feel like if that's the case, then it's going to be in my best interest to do this. Oh no. It is What what is No no. Oh god, what is what is happening? No. The buttons they're not right. <laughs> Okay, I guess we're not doing that then. Keyboard it is. I'm just going to have to be confused with the very awkward keyboard controls. Hop on down. Oh yeah, this definitely has little nightmares all over it. Teddy bear. Operation Pee Pee? Oh, I see. <laughs> Including the weird backing track, I might add. Oh. Oh. Yes. Including, including, I might add, the incredibly creepy things happening just outside where you are. Why does it sound like drills? What is with the drill noises? Why can I hear drilling? Oh no. Do I have to go? No, no, I'll go up the stairs, surely. Can I shut this door? No, no, I can't. Uh oh. Can I open this door? No. Oh. Bottles. We can knock the bottles over. What's that trying to tell me? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I can pick it up, but what do I do with it? Hang on, what are the... There's probably more controls. B to throw, which is... Oh, L to throw. So I want to pick that up and then... No. Wow, they can throw really well. Pick it up. Pick, no, pick it up. Okay, pick this one up. Am I supposed to be throwing it somewhere else? Like... Up the stairs? At the mirror. Nope. 
Oh, that's noisy. Shut up. Shut up. What am I meant to be throwing this at? Gone now. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oof. Maybe that's what I'm meant to be throwing it at. Oh, wait, I couldn't... I couldn't keep holding it when I jumped up. Uh... What if... Throw it from here. Oh, I can wait. What? I can just climb up on this side. Then what is the purpose? Oh, oh, jeez. I'm glad that they don't die. What's the point of this then? Oh, there's a slipper over there. Maybe I need to get the slipper. Oh, that's loud. Oop. Give me the slipper. Give me the... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's super like Little Nightmares. Like, seriously. Seriously like Little Nightmares. The, f the moment I realized that it wasn't first person, I, I just went, wow, this, this is Little Nightmares. I mean, obviously, Little Nightmares can't be the only one that's ever... Ah, uh, now I see what I need to throw the bottle at. Little Nightmares isn't the only thing to have ever done this style, though. But, you know, it's just what everyone thinks of recently. Oh, yeah. What did that do? What did that do? Oh, it unlocked the door. Nice. When is the very large creepy fellow going to start chasing me? No! Timed. Now I understand why that's there. I've never actually played Little Nightmares, so for me this is a fairly... Uh, unique experience anyway run 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 get out of there get out of there yeah oh jeez <laughs> it would be nice if all of the creepy pe oh why can you see my mouse I, I should have that turned off No, it would be nice if the creepy people would turn out to actually be nice for once. Do I need to drop down here? I think I do. Whoa. Man, it's a good job there's no fall damage. Yeah, a lot of these indie games, especially like, since so many of them are kind of... Don't mind me, I'm just hiding inside a wall. You can't see me. No, no. Okay, I guess you can see me. And now I've become a photo. Shit. How the fuck do I hide from him? Under the table, I bet. Is there somewhere I can hide if I come down fast enough? No. No, you can't see me. Let me, let me, let me under the table. Damn it. Whoa, he, the motherfucker just picked me up that time. He didn't even take a picture. Yeah, what I was saying was a lot of these uh, indie games that we play are sort of someone's 
finals exam for for computer ma uh, game making and things like that. So it's kind of expected that every now and then they turn out to be based on something else. Well, what am I meant to do? It won't let me hide under the table. It won't let me climb. I'm too slow to, to run away. Am I just missing something around the edges? Maybe I can crawl in there. Can't go there. What's back towards me then? Aha! Aha! No, move it. He said I will save you. I don't want to be saved if that's what you mean, if that's your idea of saving. Man, he's just out there like. <laughs> What can I hear now? Oh, fuck. How did he get here so fast? And I'm stuck here. Wait, his face is actually a camera. I didn't realize that. His face is actually a camera. That's kind of fucked up. Under the table. Oh, no! Okay, he didn't he didn't hear that, which is kind of a miracle, but okay. No, no. Come up. Climb no, no, climb up. Oh jeez, jeez. No, 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 no. I need him to be facing the other way cuz I think I have to jump up onto the table and up onto this drawer over here and up to the top. Apparently he's had some attempted escapees before. There's little ladders around. Ah, oh, this is so little nightmares. It's kind of funny. But you have to pick something. The oh, jeez. You have to pick something to be inspired by when you're doing your your finals, you know. Like we had that other one that it wasn't even someone's finals, if I recall. It was just a guy that was inspired by Viewfinder. And that was actually a really fun little game. Obviously, it didn't have the story of Viewfinder, but it was... I, no, don't step on that. That's a, ra a, a, a mouse trap. Yes, we have escaped the creepy fellow. But where are we going now? Down this rope. Hope it automatically catches. It does. Wait, down or up? Down and up both seem to be options. Oh, the creepy music's come back. Wait! These ammo? No. What's up here? seeing much maybe this is just meant to be a creepy space and not actually where I'm supposed to go yeah I can't seem to go anywhere from here so I guess so. oh jeez I hate when things make noise it makes me think that I'm about to get fucked up Why do you take so long to climb downwards? It's a lot easier than climbing upwards. Ah uh, yes, down is very clearly where I'm supposed to be going because it's the really creepy direction. Quick! Oh 
jeez. Uh, no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Can we just escape the creepy dude's house now? Nope, we're going back into the creepy dude's house again. God damn it. What? No, no. Wait. Wait. No chase sequences. No, no. Oh, God. Dang it. Okay. Why did that even fall over? That's just mean. It's, oh god, that's not even the right way. Got distracted by the open door like a fool. I got baited. No. I like the music that they got here. The, apparently all the music from the game is, uh, I think, Creative Commons? I think that was this one. Okay, I couldn't even get far enough ahead of him that time. This is hard. Let's come down the left hand side, hopefully prevent any slowdown from them. It's games like these that make me realize I'm really not that good at video games. I don't want you to save me. Whatever your saving is, it's like not the right kind of saving, my dude. from me oh no yeah fucking try and save this dickhead oh it's still following me up there which is a problem because I have to resurface now. What? Why was that ladder so tall? Oh, he's coming again. Oh, maybe he isn't. I thought he was with the... Wait. He might come to... Ah! Too close. Too freaking close. Too freaking close. Oh, he's not chasing. Oh, god damn it. No saving. I do not require saving. Please get the fuck away from me, you freak. Oh, that was a jump. Oh, this isn't a jump. Oh. Okay. Maybe we can have a moment's peace. That would be awesome. Now he's gonna come through the next fucking mirror. God, motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Confused about that. How big is this house? 
this button. What are all these buttons? Maybe things I wasn't supposed to step on or shouldn't have stepped on? There's more buttons. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. No, 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 I'm gonna get saved. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Those lights make me, or that light specifically, makes me drowsy. Like I start wobbling around and being all weird. Okay, so what if I just come around the back here? They can't save me if I don't walk through there. No, no, not the light. No, 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 I'm screwed. Ultra screwed. I don't need your saving. Leave me the fuck alone. I need to throw something at that, but I can't see anything that I can throw. Fuck away from me. Come on. Oh, fuck it. Okay, well, at least I know what to do now. I've got it figured out from the get go. That. Go, go. No, no, no buttons. No lights, no buttons, no lights, no buttons. Just go, 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 go. We get in there. Yes. Fuck you and your saving. That's right. Where am I supposed to go? Up there. Oh, that's a rope. Oops. I fell. Is he banging on the door? No, 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 damn it. I forgot that it just spins you around in a circle. What is with the clocks here? Oh, yeah, you're right. The, uh, the main character, I guess. Where am I? Oh, I see where I'm going. Why is there just this tiny hole in the wall? Oh, it's another vent, that's why. Oh, crap. What the f Oh! Oh, 
he had, oh god no no oh no oh no I wonder if I can just Oh fuck. Oh okay. Um Ah uh. Is there anywhere safe to throw this? Over there. Fuck! <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if you could just, like, sprint through there instead. Just, like, fucking zoomy zoom. No, oh, okay. That's definitely not a practical attempt. <laughs> the right idea before i just need to throw things to the safe zone unfortunately that particular uh, flash doesn't activate these ones Okay, so what if... No, wait, there's no... Okay, hang on. What about... That direction. Yes, okay. No! No, no! <laughs> God damn it! I was doing so well. I was doing so well. Oh. I can't believe you do this to me, small person. Oh no. Oh. Okay, let's try this again. No, 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 just, just pick it up. Yes. Yes, okay. Uh Oh shit. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Careful now. Ooh. These ones I should just be able to walk around. Yeah, oh god, oh heck. Oh, why didn't you grab it? Fuck! Fuck, no! No, no! Ah! Ah! <laughs> why did you go up there? I didn't press anything. Uh. Oh, what the fuck? Don't, no, 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 no. 
It didn't grab on that time. That wasn't my fault. Just game game mechanic losing its shit that time. Okay, you know what? I can walk around these. I don't need to throw them. I'm a stealthy kind of... No! No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I thought I could be sneaky, but apparently at that point, I really do have to just lift the damn bottle up. Whoa. What was that fucking superhero jump just there? Maybe I can go this... Yes. Alright, I have to pick one of these up. But I can just put it down again. No, why the hell did you do that? Oh. Just don't fall again and we'll be fine. Yes. Hopefully that's... a continue. Oh, well that's not damning at all. The bright red glow and the creepy fucking music. Oh, what the fuck? It's a giant developing room. Let me guess, he's going to come out right as I'm about to get to the end. What is that? What's the, the light about? Really? This is my box. Like, I'm... This is the one of the boxes that I arrived in. Is that a cat litter box? What do I do here? I'm, I'm not sure what you want me to do. Oh, fell in the bucket. I'm stuck in the bucket. What am I meant to do here? Oh, it's the button, duh. I just couldn't see it because of all of the other red. Did I just kill all of the other kids? I think I, I seriously think I might have just killed all of the other kids. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Unnecessary slow down. Fuck me. No saving me. Stay the fuck away from me. Up, 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 down, 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 get over there. This is surprisingly long. I thought this one was going to be very short. <laughs> I don't think they expected me to be able to walk past that. Yes, I knew it. I knew it was going to be another chase. Fuck! Oh, the music, the, 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 beat, the beat has dropped. The music's really going now. 
Why can he just come through mirrors? That's so OP. I got torn between hiding briefly and, and actually continuing. I should have just continued. When I think about how small I am versus how big he is, I wonder what size of a child I actually am. Maybe I'm actually a dolly. No! with all the fucking gun gun sounds outside is this like some sort of a war I bet that wasn't a continue point, was it? Oh, it was. Nice. Okay. Fuck! Fuck! Please, just let me get out of here. still here just to suffer no there's no fucking exit I'm not here there's no one here fuck is happening? Oh, the end of the game. That's what's happening. I can't believe the ending of the game is that the motherfucker caught us. Well, that was pretty impressive, if you ask me. Developers had a, quite the team on it. Given that they're all going by their own names with numbers, I would say that they were probably a team doing this for their finals. Or something like that. Well, that was a pretty impressive one. How can the remaining ones for today compare? Next up we have Atwell, which is totally chill. Nothing terrifying at all, and I don't even think anything difficult. I think it's just a, a swell time. English or Espanol? I believe we will play in English. Thank you. Enter. I mean, a lot of things that people do for their finals end up being derivative of something. It's not generally about originality so much as how much you can make in how little time. Start. I've always known that I would enjoy Little Nightmares. I just never got around to buying it. So, I mean, playing that just kind of proves it to me. <laughs> Now, I've, I have watched uh, both Little Nightmares and Little Nightmares 2 played because I haven't had the money or time, money slash time to play them myself. 
Now, when you say up, down, left, and right to move, do you does that also include W, S, A, and D? Or do I specifically have to use... Oh, no, I can use W, S, A, and D. Good. WASDA is my thing, man. So this is based around... It wasn't, though. Even though that said, it said it was. It actually wasn't. It was just WASDA. This is based around the Atwell River. I can't remember where it's, what country it said the Atwell River was in. But I'm guessing Spain, considering it was Espanol. And the whole point is that as we go along this river, it just sort of... It's just a chill time, basically. The whole point is just a pretty and chill time. And as we continue, we will grow. Apparently it's about 30 minutes long, so... La de un río, sí. The pero definition bueno, of a river? Decir, yes, they'll que, tell you, but... Que it's a channel that transports water. Pero, pero no, es muy, but really, it's... Es muy, muy amplio, much broader than that. No sé, no I don't think I have the language to define what a river truly is. A river is... It's life. It's everything. A river transports life. Without water, without a river, big, small, any size, it's life. I agree. Oh, I've become a fish. I am no longer the river. I am now a fish. Can I zoom? I want to zoom. Oh, I'm two fish. For the indigenous people of this land, the river has a purpose. It has what they call Nyen. It has a spirit. Oh, Nyen, okay. And many spirits dwell within it. That is why every time they need to do something in the river, they have the custom of asking for its permission. In Western civilization, it might seem funny for us to ask permission from a river, a mountain or stream in order to cross it. But to the indigenous communities, water had significance. So it had to be treated like a sibling, sister water, brother fire, brother mountain. Names which we now translate so freely have to do with the indigenous worldview. They felt they were part of the rivers. Uh, this is what you, what we needed, man. After the stress of that last one. Some real chill out. Just swimming down the river. Down, down, down by the river. Oh, the sun is rising. The river is part of my DNA. I arrived here when I was very young. Three. Stories of when there was no electricity here and my grandfather would sit by the edge of the park and tell us the story of the river, of how it would arrive. Back when there were no embankments. Back when the river was free, it came down in the summer with its heavy flow, bringing news of the mountain range and left us in winter. It rested. Back then it was a summer river. Those stories I, are the stories I have of Atuel, which I carry in my soul. I take it wherever I go. Wherever I go, I carry it in my soul. Analyzing the sediments of the plain, we find that sandstone the river carries, that really fine material, is a part of the history of the mountain range. The Atuel River has transported the history of the mountain range. 
By analyzing those sediments, we can interpret what type of rock our Atwell River flowed through. The river is born in the mountain range where the geological structure is magnificent. Where there are rocks of all kinds, where we have volcanic activity, glaciers, even the presence of the sea, perhaps a fossil might survive the long journey. Across the Atwell's rivers, Atwell rivers 400 kilometers, and we may find a marine fossil brought to us by the Atwell that tells us the story of Ewa at some point was in the sea. How many fish am I now? I think I'm still three. Life forms next to rivers. There has never been a society, not a single one in the history of humanity, that was born in a place that wasn't a river. Human beings, we have a connection with the river. We are part of the river. It gives us life. It's as if we draw closer to ourselves. The river is like a mirror. Oh. Man, this is so chill. I don't know if it's much in, uh, if it's uh, interesting to watch, but I'm enjoying playing it. Whoa. We have met... Oh, dear. That's not so good. What's happening? Oh, I'm a cloud. Am I? C... X, X down, C up. Hold space to rain. I want to put that fire out. I am going to put that fire out. Just get me there, baby. I'll rain all over that shit. Come on. Oh, God, it's so slow. They're burning. Let me get there faster. They're burning. Please. They're burning. What if I just rain everywhere? No, I don't get faster when I rain. From its source until it is dammed, the Atwell River flows naturally. Once the river is dammed and is diverted into canals, ditches, arms, or in this case, the marginal canals, the water now follows a course given to it by man. This has had negative repercussions. All that water that once followed the natural course and served the native plant life, we diverted it, drying up part of the wetlands, removing the water from those natural areas. Let me put that fire out. We might not be able to save the forest, but by, by golly, we can help. Oh no! Why did I stop raining? Don't stop raining! Oh, I've become an animal now. Oh. Get away from the fire. We will survive. We find ourselves facing two problems. Man, living in an oasis, having to deal with water and how we should use this water that we have, and the native ecosystem clashing with the hand of man. That would be the main problem. What can we do to make sure that the impact we have on nature is as small as possible? Oh, 
Oh man, this fire is really waging out of control. Jesus Christ. This is, I'm guessing, the, the cause of what... This is what happened when they dammed the river. Suddenly the wetlands were became so flammable in the summer sun. This looks like a, the, it used to be the river. The posteros of the Atuel had a, oh, brothers of summer pastures and a river that brings life back. Ah, Living there amidst the mountains, between peaks and mm, for their herds, seeking creeks and good pastures. Self-sacrificing women, bread ovens, firewood and thyme. The dreams of a family growing up by the heat of a fire. The puesteras and puesteros who uh, wish for snow to keep falling that the river won't die. Their walk is a prayer swept away by time. A whisper, a hope, made from wind and sand. That guy spoke very fast. I'm guessing all this, this is now a desert, what used to be the, the river flow. The river valley is now just a, a dried up valley instead. We're good at that, humans. Taking things for ourselves and forgetting about how it affects the other things around us. But one might say it's what we're best at. <clears throat> At least there's still trees growing down here. They're getting their water from somewhere. Oh! I'm a cloud again, baby. Rain! Oh. No? What's happening? This one got away free, thankfully. Yeah. Give these boys and th these trees, give them life. Give them all life. Yes. Now we are coming back to the flow of the river. There is water once again below me. Rain on it all. Is the river the river's getting wider as I'm going down, isn't it? Oh, it's gone again. Rain. I am but one little cloud, but I will do my best. Hey, there's more water. Oh, what's happening now? I can't see. How can I how can I help the trees if I can't see them? Hey. Whoa, is that a that looks like a face carved into the rock. It's totally a face carved into the rock. Here in the canyon, there's also been marine presence, the Atlantic Ocean. Through geology and the study of the river, we can interpret all the terrains and geological structures that the Atuel has crossed. And the curious thing, above all, is their diversity. When we look at the Atuel Canyon, we see so many colors. We see a great variety of types of rock, and each one, each color, each type of rock, reveals a geological history. Each one is a small brick in that immense wall that was built throughout the entire geological history of the Atuel Canyon.
Where am I raining now? It's drying up again. I think. Oh, it's getting dark again. Give me my light back. Let me rain upon the trees again. There's a lovely author named Galileo Vitali who makes a comparison between a person and a river. A river is wild and hasty at first, as if it were a child. Then it straightens out a bit as it enters adolescence. And when it reaches adulthood, let's say... It's put in an embankment or in a marginal canal. And at the end, at the very, very end, the river, like a person, is lost. It dilutes and fades away. I'm a bird now. B and X for up and down again. But I think this height is okay. Ooh, the, the field of vision's gone a bit wacky, though. And we're in this beautiful, wide river now. I wonder if we'll join the ocean at the end. It seems that every being on this planet, each one of us here, I, I don't know if it's an obligation, but a mandate. A mandate to be, a mandate to flow. That mandate, the mandate to flow, is one of water's most important mandates. The river has never stood in the way of our flow. On the contrary, for the last 7,000 years to the present day, it has accompanied the flow of human communities. What we've done, on the other hand, since it has not let the river flow freely. True. Humans are all about taming the elements without any particular thought to how it affects everything in the area. Far more interested in... Currently, I think of a river as another living being. Until recently, because I was occupied with technical and scientific issues, I thought of a river as a water course. But now, in these last few years, through my activism for the conservation of water, I feel uh, there's someone that feels that has a heartbeat, someone who has been keeping us company for thousands of years. It's undeniable. Oh. Did we reach the end? Oh, we're raining down on modern society. Oh, dear. We are a single solitary raindrop. Where are we going now? Up oh, to move forward. Ah, the rain is broadening the river. Yeah, unfortunately, humanity as a society, we've become very prone to choosing how nature works and expecting nature to bend as, as we want it to, rather than letting nature do its thing and trying to be a part of nature. And unfortunately, a lot of our... Oh, there we go. This has been a journey across the Atuel River, which flows from the Andes Mountains across the west western Argentina. There you go. The interviews you heard are real. Like all rivers, the Atuel has been providing for us in time, for time immemorial, and it has forged an intimate connection with those who live by its waters. Well, I certainly like that. It's nice to see 
modern technology used to remind people of where we came from and that nature is a thing and especially since so much of our modern technology has come at the expense of nature I think it had a, a good point to make and it was really damn pretty at the same time I enjoyed that I enjoyed that a lot okay so the last one Zeppelin escape room. I genuinely don't know. I don't know how long this is going to take. I don't know how easy or hard it's going to be. I can see that it can be single player or multi. Whoa, we're just dropping in. Okay. It's loud. Can I turn the volume down a bit? I can. Why is it? Why is my. Why? That shouldn't be there. Okay, well, sorry, but you're going to be seeing my uh, my pointer because I can't make it go away. Actually, I might be able to. Hang on. Game capture. Don't capture cursor. There we go. You can't see it. I can, but you can't. That's fine by me. So the idea here is that we're actually using this Zeppelin to, to escape a dying world. Click on objects to pick up. R plus scroll. I presume that means scroll. Uh, R, R plus, ah yes, mouse wheel scroll maybe. R plus mouse rotate. R plus R click plus mouse. Click. Uh, okay. We'll test that the moment I find something. Okay. Oops. Oops. Let's pretend we didn't spot that. Okay, so the idea behind this game is, like I was saying, we're uh, in this Zeppelin and we're using it to basically escape the world because the world is dying. And it's just an escape room. I'm guessing that the that is not 9999. I'm already needing to find some answers. I don't think they were on this, but oh dear. <laughs> we'll pretend we didn't see that. <laughs> okay. It was the first thing I could pick up, so I was wondering, but there doesn't seem to be anything on it. Whoa! What about these? There's, there's nothing on them either. I can just pick up the whole damn world. Can I pick up the plants? No, okay. They're limiting my fun. Four. Eight, four, seven, three. Eight, oh. Okay, we'll try eight, four, seven, three in this one first. Okay, maybe it's for the door. A door just here. Okay, maybe it's seven three eight four. Maybe this is seven three eight four. Well, what the fuck? Did I misread one of them? Seven three. Ah, perhaps they're supposed to be in the order of like uh I don't know, like three, seven, eight, four, or I was thinking maybe the order of age. I can't really tell. Let's, tr 
try 3748 then. I'll try them in the opposite direction. What the fuck? Why is there a one and a two here now? Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. So it's that one, that one, that one, that one. It's eight, four. Eight, four, seven, three. Is this not right? One, two, three, four. Eight, four, seven, three. And even if it's the other way around, it should just be seven, three, eight, four. Well, congratulations, guys. I can't even make it out of the first room. <laughs> I have four numbers. And I have something that implies that it relates to the four numbers by saying one, two, three, four. What? What's that about? For one thing, there's six. Um, can't actually see the numbers. There's numbers on these. That one's 35. 35? zoom button? Nope. I do not get it. I know I say that a lot, but I really I don't know what the hell any of this could be about. Kind of like though, I don't think that's it. Is 
definitely an eight. But hey, that's this. That's the thing we're in. Seven, three, four, eight, four, eight, three, seven, three, four, eight, seven, seven, eight, four, three. Uh, No matter how I look at this, it just seems like it should be 8473. And why... Why don't you work? Still doesn't work. <laughs> Apparently, I had to clear the nine 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 first, which didn't even occur to me. What the hell is this? to compare it to that. So if I'm comparing to that, it's got to be... Uh, 26. And... Let's see what that one is. Twenty two two six three three two six three three four. Can't tell what that number is. I think it's 2636 or 2638. I'll try 2636. I'll try 2638. got the wrong idea clearly <clears throat> clearly it's definitely showing me like it's got to be the two that aren't intersecting like the ones that have circles but don't have x's which is just the little button looking thing on the left and the I'm not even sure how to describe it on the right but those are the only two that aren't X'd out on this one 
That's number 26 over here, but I can't. Oh, what the hell? No. No, no. It's gone. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Uh, I know that it was two six and three six, and I am guessing that those numbers are what's important. Oh God! Unless it was the ones that were X had X's but not circles. Oh hell! I can't even check it anymore. It's fucking. It just fell through the fucking floor. <laughs> There's there is no way to solve this issue. Okay, I'm going to exit the game and restart the game. I haven't exactly made much progress, so it should be okay to just start over. <laughs> Okay, what was it? Eight, four, seven, three. So if it's X's that aren't circles. That would be top left, bottom left, and one just in the middle. But I also need for those to have for them to be two single numbers. they're not. The one on the top left is one. And the one on the bottom left is like 43 or something. Oh damn it, another one of them that's X'd is also... Well, no, it's got to be the other ones. It fell through the floor again! Uh, two six twenty seven twenty eight. Pretty sure that's thirty six. I know it would be thirty eight, wouldn't it? Because thirty seven is just there. Okay, so it's twenty six and thirty eight. Two six three eight. Or three eight two six. Well, what is it then? I got the number wrong for the left one. Is that a four? Two four three eight. Motherfucker, it was that that it was just a four all along. Yes. Oh, it's an elevator. I guess let's go wherever we're going. Just me in here. No one else. This is, this is a very lonely place. Zero eight and X. Light chair.
light chair. Oh, it's this again. Light chair. Man, I wonder where this guy got this model because this is a fancy looking place. Well, I, I say that he could have made it himself, but either way, it's a fancy looking place. Light and chair. Let's remember light and chair. Light and chair. Light and chair. Light and chair. I see lots of chairs and lots of lights. Whoa, what the hell? Pretty cool that that can be picked up and it keeps casting light no matter where I move it. <laughs> Why do you have different music to the rest of the place? Fuck that. Light and shit. Oh. This one's off. Why is this one off? I don't get it. Maybe it's the number I'm supposed to count, like the number of lit chairs, or uh, lit lights, and the number of chairs or something? That'd be one, two, three, four, five. Five lamps are on. Oh, but there's loads of chairs. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty, one, two, two, three, four, five, five, six, six, seven, twenty-eight, nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, four, five, five. 5 and 45? Shit, is it 6? 4, 5, 6? Oh, that's not... I don't know where I put something like 4, 5, 6. It just is... Got light and chair, light and chair. Whoa, why could I take that? I don't want that. <laughs> Put it back on the wall. <laughs> okay, light, light, light and chair, light and chair. Four, five, six. I don't know what I do with four, five, six. And the weird thing is that I can spin the chairs, but I don't really. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What if? What if only lit chairs should... Oh, no, I can actually just go... Wait, one? I see a number. Two. Three. The table numbers. Four. Five. Six. Oh, this one doesn't have a number. Where was where was one again? Is this 
plus one. For some reason, I can just move these chairs, but these chairs over here turn. These chairs I can just pick up. These turn. Wow, I have no idea what the hell that means. Let's look at these pictures on the wall. That's not quite what I meant. I can really just pick everything up and just throw it around the place. some and just randomly pick up some others. <clears throat> it's like specifically these two that I count. I don't get it. <laughs> I can just turn some of these off and on and turn, lift up others. And for some reason, I can lift that one up. one I can't turn on or lift up. This mean number one can't be turned on. Number two can be. Three and four, and all of the rest, I can turn on and off. Who would create a puzzle like this on their ship? Why can I only turn most of them on? Gotta be some combination, but I'm not seeing it. <clears throat> I'm not seeing anything that gives me hints as to what the combat. It's weird though that it just cuts off when I exit the room. Not seeing anything is is for hints. The only hint that I've seen is just lights and chairs, but no like I impression as to what I am supposed to do with lights and chairs. I know I'm getting annoyed enough to start vandalizing the place. What am I supposed to do with these lights and chairs? Nothing around that's a hint.
just the weirdness of these six chairs. At least I think it's six. Yeah, it's six. Six weird chairs and eight weird lights. And they definitely don't help me figure out what the the word is that I'm supposed to put into this over here. if it was like the chairs had to face lights or something but it doesn't seem to work that still worked what I was behind <laughs> okay, but what about the chairs? And also, what did this achieve? chair part is about. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm guessing from the fact that I can't turn the first one on, the low beats mean that off, and the high beats mean on. So that's do 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 do. So that's the nine lights that I can mess with in that order. for the chairs at all. I 
Unless it's somehow the same code, but I'm not really sure. No, I don't think that would work even if you split it up. <coughs> Cheers. You're not of any use to me anymore. How do I know the placement of the chairs? There's no there's no other hint in this damn room. thing down here see it says I've got the lights correct but I don't have any hint for the chairs Chairs are not correct. Where do I get the hint for the chairs? There's really nothing like... No matter how I look at it, I can't apply that set of beeps to this. And I can't spot anything else that could be giving me hints. through here. No, it just says restricted area. It doesn't say. Oh, no, that's just the uh, you. Give me a hint. How am I supposed to arrange you? I feel like there's probably just some really blatant hint somewhere that I just can't see. Well, 
What if it has to do with the table numbers that are actually turned on? No, it can't because that's only three lights. Three, four, seven. Three, four, seven. I don't think that has any bearing here. I, uh, once again, I, I, I encourage anyone watching to play that for themselves and try to figure out why I'm so stupid. Uh, I mean, uh, not, not why I'm so stupid. I just mean, you know, try and try and figure out what I couldn't figure out because that's the thing you can figure out. You can't figure out why I'm so stupid. That was, I was born that way. So that was Zeppelin Escape Room and... It looked really nice, and for the most part, the context clues at least allowed me to get to a certain point, but I was just very confused at the end there. But hey, you know, that's just how some puzzle escape room puzzles be. To be honest, we've had quite, quite a mix today, and I must say, both of the escape room puzzles stumped me eventually. But the other two games were pretty great. I liked the little Nightmares-like game. That was really fun for me. And honestly, it just reminded me that I really need to get around to actually playing Little Nightmares and Little Nightmares 2 for myself one of these days. Um, as for Atwell, honestly, I just thought it made a nice point. And I did it. I really enjoyed playing it. I'm sure it was kind of boring to watch. Or maybe it wasn't. I don't know. If you like that kind of thing, then maybe it wasn't so boring. But either way, I liked it. <clears throat> and I definitely think it made a very valid point about people in the environment and how much we fail to look after it while it keeps looking after us. The last one, you know... I guess in spite of the fact that I love puzzle rooms, I'm not actually that good at them. So <laughs> that's 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 the proof we got today. Both of the puzzle rooms that I played, I wasn't able to complete within the, the sort of one hour mark or whatever. <clears throat> but there will be more in the future. I have quite a few more puzzle rooms. I have point and clicks. I have all kinds of different puzzles. So you'll get to witness me being stupid a number more times in the future. Um... What else? Is there anything else? Tomorrow, Sunday, so it's my day off as always. Um, Monday, I will be back. Be, 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 I will be back with more folklore and dark cloud. Uh, my capture card miraculously just started working again after I finished streaming yesterday. So, and it's been fine since I've checked it again, and it is working fine. I have no idea why it lost its shit, but there will be folklore tomorrow. Unless it just decides to shit out right before stream again. Uh, Dark Cloud, I did exactly what I said I'd do, and I went and did some off-screen grinding. I've left the character in exactly the same place, but the weapons are much, much stronger now. I maxed out two bone rapiers, and then put them in as synth spheres onto one of my weapons. So that'll be Monday on Twitch, and then again on Tuesday, as always, we'll be back with Indie Bunker number 19. And uh, with any luck, the games I choose that day will stump me a little less, so you won't have to see me failing quite so hard. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have any other particular announcements worth mentioning at the moment. I do have some an idea for kind of the end of the month, but uh, I'll wait and see if what I'm thinking of is actually possible so I won't announce anything yet uh, to those of you who came thanks for coming for people watching the VOD thanks for watching the VOD hopefully you enjoyed the games you saw and by all means do uh, check out the games that I wasn't able to finish within the time slot because 
Uh, the links are in the descriptions, and they are worth your time. Uh, thank you all for coming. Have a good morning, afternoon, night, or evening. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.